The Blizzard is a Swedish film that was released in 1923. This is actually based, loosely based, I should say, <laughs> on an 1899 novel titled The Tale of a Manor that was written by Selma uh, Lagerlof. I'm, I'm sorry if I say that incorrectly. Now, as it turns out, um, during production, this was actually supposed to be released in 1915, but there was, um, yeah, they tried to make a film adaption in 1915. Uh, the screenplay was developed. The film, however, was canceled. Then in the early 1920s, the plans were revived. And the project was given to uh, Maritz Stiller, who is credited as writer. So it was uh, with a film industry, and then it was given to someone else. Now, with uh, Stiller, uh, they all, uh, Stiller also worked together with a Finnish-Swedish author, uh, Alma, and I'm not going to try and say that last name because I know I'll butcher it. So, but I will put the information in the description box because I, yeah, I know I'll butcher that name. <laughs> <laughs> the screenplay, of course, differs from the original story. And that uh, bothered uh, Selma. She didn't like that at all. Uh, the thing was, is that she had to approve as is the case with a lot of when you adapt a, a novel to a film, you have to get the approval from the author. She was not happy. <laughs> she really was not happy. Uh, Stiller traveled to uh, Selma and presented the screenplay to have it approved. She, however, was deeply dissatisfied with the liberties Stiller had taken. And the production company had to convince her not to denounce the film company publicly. So, yeah, bit of a dispute there. Uh, the film was produced through the original, oh, or no, it looks like it was a different um, uh, film industry, a subsidiary which only exists from 1922 to 1923. So anyway, I will put all of that in the description box. But yeah, Selma was not happy. <laughs> she, and, and you know, as, as an author myself, I, I fully understand because when you write something and they take the liberties, you you expect it with, with film, they're going to take liberties here and there. But obviously there was something in there that she said, absolutely not. <laughs> no, no. Now, as for the story itself, obviously it's not all there. This is an hour and 41 minute, and we only have 45 minutes. Now, um, it starts off with uh, Gunnar Hetty. You see him as a little boy, and he's looking at a portrait of a violinist. That's what he wants to do. I mean, this has piqued his interest. That's what he wants more than anything else. Now, his family owns a uh, reindeer farm. And it's a successful reindeer farm, but he doesn't, that's not what he wants. It, it, that's just not his interest. He doesn't want to be around this farm. He wants to be in the arts. He wants to be on stage. Well, the problem is that his father in his adult life, you know, it fast forwards. And, and so he's, his father suddenly dies and his family says, well, you need to take over the business. And you have to take care of the reindeer and you need to sell them. You know, th this is what you have to do now. There's nobody else. And <laughs> so he struggles with this and, and everything. But I mean, I was watching this and I'm like, he's the only one? <laughs> <laughs> really he's he's the only and uh, okay I, I i guess i mean like i understand that you know you're the the oldest you you take over it's it's the age old thing but um 
I just, and you know, it, it, it's the whole story of, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Um, but anyway, so he finally gives in and he decides, okay, yeah, I, I got to do this. I'm going to give up my dream and go ahead and do this. And, and that, um, so, but there's a one day where he's taking the herd over the frozen Arctic and there's this blizzard and he becomes badly injured in an accident. He suffers head trauma. Well, his family is afraid that he may be, uh, he may have suffered, uh, mental brain damage and at the same time they're going to lose the family business as well as him now of course we don't see all of that uh just the first 45 minutes but i was able to find the plot and um so but the parts that you see i was actually impressed with uh i'm going to try and say his name einer Einar Hansen, and he played Gunner. And again, I was very imp impressed with what I did see of him. And you know, for for a, a, a character that's struggling and being pressured and having to do this, having to give up their dreams, we see it all the time. And um, he he did a really good job with that. I, because again, we see this type of character a lot, <laughs> and and I was very impressed. So um, I wish we could see more. Hopefully, someday we'll find it somewhere, and who knows? It's probably waiting to be found, and we'll have the rest of it. And um, but anyway, so this is the blizzard. It's a Swedish film released in 1923. It is based off of an 1899 novel titled Tales of the Manor.